So here now, Bridges Owens, former Super Bowl champion and author of Liberalism, or How to Turn Good Men into Whiners, uh, Weenies and Wimps, as he puts it. Um, Bridges Owens, thank you very much for being here tonight. Um, so you think the president was not right to jump in on this or not? Well, I tell you, Martha, what, what concerns me is another missed opportunity to give a message to uh, kids who really need to hear this message. There's 70 percent of black boys who do not have a, a dad in the household. Uh, if you look at the, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the juvenile system, 85 percent of those kids don't have dads. So when you have a dad, you want him to stand up and do the right things. Uh, in this case here, we need to teach, teach our kids to be thankful, number one, and to apologize and make, make mistakes. And the very last thing, we make enough mistakes as it is, just trying to do the right things and still making it, make, it, make, make, make mistakes. The last thing we need to teach our kids is no big deal, to steal, lie, lie and cheat. So if, if, if you want to see uh, some accountability, something's going to turn, turn sour down the road, uh, allow these, these young men, no matter how wealthy they are, to continue to lie, steal, steal and cheat. And you'll see there's going to be an accountability process at some point. So you sort of see an underlying message here between, you know, the NFL uh, situation with kneeling on the field and this situation where the president's saying, no, you know, that that's not <laughs> what I would do, you know, essentially as a parent. This is what you need to teach in terms of respect and accountability. Um, do you think that the president has a positive message here for young uh, these young African-American men or is it racist, as you just heard charged? No, what's racist is to think that this is the way black people should think and way be black people to respond. No, I'm thankful for a president who's drawing lines across the board because it's not happening in these homes. Uh, we need to respect our flag. We need to respect our women. We need to respect the laws. All those things that right now there are problems in the black community, we're not being taught because men are not standing up and doing their job. So uh, at the end of the day, let's have this conversation. And at the end of the end of these seasons, let's go back and we need to get American people in these communities and giving the right message to these young people about service and, and love of country because they're not getting it from the Marxists and socialists that are running out of these communities as, as we speak today. So how would you compare the, the message that President Trump is putting out there with the message that President Obama put out there? Well, Obama, uh, President Obama had a, a message of division. Uh, it, was, it was always, uh, 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 it, it, was not, it was not bringing together and helping our kids to understand their laws that we need to, to, to stay focused on. Uh, I, I tell you what I'm learning, what I'm seeing right now, when I grew up, to do something like this would not happen. I would, I would not want to disrespect my, 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 my family's name. I would not want to uh, embarrass my mom and dad. Uh, this is what we're not being taught in the, in the communities. And, and across the board, black or white, it's a message that all of us need to be teaching our kids because we want them to be successful and happy. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, in the black community, uh, we are expecting thuggery is almost a natural way that we think and we act, and it's not the way it should be. That is true racism, to have so low, low expectations for our kids. All right. Thank you very much. Good to have you here tonight, sir. Thank you, Martha. Appreciate it.